Hollywood to Hollywood with Rao Rampilla. Well, we have a special show today. We have a guest, a prominent economist, Dr. P.C. Lunia. Dr. Lunia, you have written books about America and also about India. Well, Dr. Lunia has written a book, How to Create Millions of Jobs in America. It's interesting. Why have a show on an entertainment show talk about jobs? Well, we are under the recession. So if the entertainment industry should care, they should care for the people. So it is important to talk about the jobs for the ordinary people. That's why we brought Dr. Lunia, who, who is telling us that he got a plan to create millions of jobs for Americans. And he is an economist. So, Dr. Lunia, pleased to meet you. Thank you. Uh, I'm glad you are on my show. Thank you. So, how did you come up with this plan? Well, this plan came to my mind about 30 years ago in India. Uh, were you an economist at the time? No, well, I was, I'm a research scholar. I do a lot of research in different things. But the biggest problem in India also is the jobs. Uh -huh. So 30 years, 34 years ago, I met at that time the Prime Minister Morazi Desai in early 1970s. And I gave him a similar plan, not this much, but that was my initial plan I gave him. Then I gave to about four or five other prime ministers since 1976 till 19, 2000. So that's a plan for India? That's a plan for India. Now you have a plan for America. Right. But before that, let me tell you, the plan of India, and the last I gave in 2009, uh, you know, about four years ago to the Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. Mm -hmm. He liked the plan very much. And last year, September 2009, he declared that he is implementing the plan with a budget of $1.4 billion a year. Really? Yes. And uh, Dr. C, he made Dr. C.K. Palla, he's another very big economist, as the chairman. Is he, is he from America? He's from America. He's Indian origin, but he lives, he used to live in America. Just two months ago, he died. Oh, he I'm passed sorry. away. So he is from the University of Chicago? Yes, that's the one. That's the one. He's a very, 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 he was very good economist, and I was friend with him. And I explained him this whole plan. <laughs> we were together about five years ago for about two hours, and I explained him. Then he went to India, and then he talked about this to Prime Minister. And they agreed. They implemented it. And it is called a skill development program. And they are opening thousands and thousands of skill development centers in India. So about America, when I wrote the bus this book, it is called a vision of golden America, uh -huh. an achievable action plan. Let me see. So this you, uh, when did you write this book? 2004. 2004. 2004, and I gave it to President Bush and and all to many other senators and congressmen, and all it it gives the solution for different problems. Mm -hmm. But the biggest topic in this is how to create jobs. And now today I thought this is very opportune right moment because country is suffering greatly mm -hmm. because of this un unemployment mm -hmm. and I thought if this plan is adopted by the government it is a very small budget of seven hundred dollars per person that's all it costs mm -hmm. for anybody give me a person on the on the road who's sleeping on the on the road and that person also I can make him intelligent enough and give him such a training that he can have he can have his own job it's like uh, instead well, of... Let me uh, stop you for a minute. Yes. So you are saying we have almost uh, more than 300 million people yes. in America. Uh, and everyone can be educated and skilled so they can create their own jobs. Is that what you say? It has two parts. One, either they create jobs themselves, self-employed, or they will have skills for this 21st century. 
you know, demand is always there for people. It's unemployment is no such thing. Because the right people are not there to do those jobs, though that's why people are unemployed. Well, we have Department of Labor. That's right. It has training programs. Yes. We have schools and colleges and university, and we have vocational centers. Yes. So what, what way your plan is different from all these pla uh, pra pra platforms provide? Yes. All these different platforms provide for a very small percentage of the population. For a larger percentage of population, they don't have the opportunity well, to, to, to learn a particular skill. Even they go to school, that doesn't guarantee them a job, you know. You mean people that drop out of school? school out. High school, even college. They, because they don't have a particular skill which is useful for the society. Because there are jobs but which is good, but then there are not people to match it. So my plan is to match the people with the job and job with the people. But you, you are saying you, you have a plan for them to educate them. Right. Without going to school, yes, college, wh or we, 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 whatever education he has is enough. The, he, even if, he, if even if he's a homeless person, he even then he can learn this because it is free of charge. How this will be provided by this semi-government foundation, which will be funded by U.S. government, hmm. and the total funding is about hmm. seven billion dollars a year, which is very small compared to the stimulus money we are spending so much. So with this $7 billion, we are going to train 10 million people every year. And most important point in this program is that they will learn a job of their liking. Because a person is successful and happy in his life, if he does something for his living good, which he enjoys doing, you know, and at the same time he gets the money. So you have a presentation, I believe? Yes, you? that's right. Uh, can we run the... Uh, presentation so he could present his plan to the audience at large. Okay, there you go. Okay, that's how. How, how to give, create millions of new jobs in America? By giving free training in latest 1,000 skills and jobs to 10 million Americans every year. Because so you use a vocational training you're talking that's, about. That's right, through interactive DVDs. Some are regular DVDs and some will be interactive DVDs. Okay. That's right. And uh, as I said before, total investment will be $7 billion per year. And the action plan, how we implement this? Mm -hmm. What I thought was, we don't have to make any new buildings. The schools which are present there in the society, and colleges, and public buildings, and private buildings, after school hours, mm -hmm. the classes can be run with the help of a video and a trainer, a, a, a lecturer. So what happens, we have to open a hundred thousand classes. How are you going to open hundred thousand classes? It's very easy, very easy. Because go, the schools which belongs to the government, may what, so they will participate in this program. They don't have to spend any money. And they are, they are giving training of their own people in the, in the different counties. So this will be a program, and then any person can give the place, space, you know, even if it is an NGO or a church or anybody. In that place, we will run these classes mostly after office hours, like from 6 to 10 o'clock. And each class will be of two hours duration. Uh, if I understand you correctly from reading your book, that uh, you wanted uh, some kind of uh, already prepared training program for every craft, right? Uh, like thousands of crafts, and yes. that will be put on the internet and all those other places, right? videotaped, so yes. people can go and uh, learn either through at the vocational school or through the uh, internet or yes. through all other whatever means. Uh, the, well, correct? there will be four different uh, media. Uh -huh. These, all these videos will be put on YouTube. Also in the classes. Also there will be a virtual university. And then there will be a television channel That's promoting these uh, videos. So each video, what the whole thrust of the program is, that each, there are thousand different skills in the society. This is also, there is, what is the difference <laughs> between a jungle and a city? that people made different things, they're expert in different things. So what I thought was that if we 
give training in these 1,000 different jobs to different people because each person has a different choice. Mm -hmm. But what we want in this video, we want to put the best possible knowledge from where, whichever part of the world we can get. Put that knowledge and the basic thrust will be to in the shortest possible time, like three months, how can we train a person in that particular skill of his liking? Number one. Number two, how it can be cost effective? Because with this, the total cost is about $700 per person. So it is cost effective. Yeah. Number third is, it should be the best possible knowledge, even the Nobel Prize winner will contribute in these DVDs. Yes. So please. all the uh, all the knowledge that is there in the world, we are going to put it on the DVD and make it available to the public at large. Yes. You see, in America, education is a business. Right. If, if I go to uh, Juilliard School, every year it costs thirty-two thousand dollars. Columbia maybe forty, in NYU another forty. So you are saying we can avoid all these costs. And those people that cannot afford to go to these schools are those people that even cannot afford even to pay for a continuing education can get benefited from these uh, expert DVDs prepared by these experts right. and that can be shared through internet, you know, DVD centers, wherever, whatever means you are saying. No, you are perfectly right. It is a two part. One, uh, it is for those people who cannot afford is regular college education. Number two, or even vocational training, they, if they cannot afford. Mm -hmm. It is because this whole program is free for them. Mm -hmm. Number two, e even for those people mm -hmm. who have gone through the college, mm -hmm. this will upgrade them. Because this, in this one, the knowledge will be the, taken out the best from the world. Mm -hmm. And it will be regularly updated every day because of the uh, web portal and because of the virtual university mm -hmm. and of the television channel. So all the expert, in, it will be a continuous process of upgrading each skill. So that person has a chance, even if he has learned this, this like electrician, if he has learned 20 years ago electricity, his work, but the things have changed. So in this course, we will teach him the latest skill. Not only that, suppose somebody wants to be, become an electrician. He will come to this class, he will learn, then we will pre help him prepare to get to pass the exam because there is another exam to become an electrician certification. Mm -hmm. So this institute will help them to get the proper certification. Then they can become an electrician, a painter. There are so many different jobs. I have which a qu require. question. Yes. Aren't there certain skills that need to be taught in person, like medical skills, yes. the uh, lawyering skills? Mm -hmm. Uh, there are skills yes. which need to be guided in person and right, to be right. No, you are right. No, I am not talking about those higher skills, you know. I am talking of the lower skills. <laughs> like nurses, you know. What? No, this program has a, another meaning also. Like somebody wants to become a nurse. Okay, it, he comes to this program, he learns all about nursing, <laughs> the basic knowledge. <laughs> then if he feels, yes, <laughs> this is something he likes to do, because now he knows basic uh, ideas of what is nurse, what what he's supposed to do, then he can go go out and uh, and l learn re regular nursing. Well, some people may say this is all socialism. Uh, we are a capitalist country, right? Yes, we are a capitalist country, but capitalist does not mean that we should not care for the poor. There are there are people who are disadvantages. We have to. This is the duty, a moral duty of the society to help each other. The whole society has to come up, not only few rich people and all others uh, poor. Mm -hmm. So this is good. It is a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. Because if the other, pop the, the disadvantaged population mm -hmm. uh, have money, so these rich industrialists also can sell their goods. Otherwise, whom they will sell if the whole economy. Mm -hmm. So this will work as whole economy will grow up. Mm -hmm. And most important, what I calculated was mm -hmm. that this $7 billion investment mm -hmm. will create at least 300 billion dollar extra GNP, gross national product. And if it is 300 million dollar, government will at least get 30 billion dollar extra revenue, extra tax revenue. Because, because in this program with the investment of 7 so billion. How, how did you come up with the figures 7 billion dollar investment? No, 
seven billion. That's a good, very good question. You ask how, how this investment. Let me give it a breakdown of the investment. <laughs> this is the slide number seven, 16. Let me tell you. First of all, making of these DVDs. Mm -hmm. We are giving a budget of $1 million because one million dollar will buy the best of the knowledge put that knowledge together so if you make a thousand dvds it will cost one billion dollar <laughs> then expenses of running these many ch tv channels which is 500 million dollars for tv channels then for operating expenses we are allocating 500 million dollars so, so you have some way of calculating yes, all yes these i just tell you <laughs> for virtual university we are going to invest one billion dollar every year because we need a world-class university, a virtual university, but it will be free of charge. Then there will be practice. Then we are thinking of opening 10,000 new, mm -hmm. higher standard practical training course. There are two tire courses. One is this school, the two hours, three months. Mm -hmm. But then there are some machinery which cost, suppose it costs $2 million only for the machinery. Mm -hmm. So there will be higher centers that, that will open only 10,000 centers, higher learning. Then the, there will be different other expenses. This total comes out to be $7 billion. Okay. And, and let me tell you how we are, how I reach the number 10 million people. How we can think of training 10 million Americans every year. How that calculation came. We thought that in an average class, there will be 15 students in one class. And it will run for two hours. So we, we are running the school for four hours. So there will be two classes every day. And then there is the duration, total duration of this class will be three months. So that comes out to be four different sessions uh, for the whole year. So, and then total it comes out to be 15 student into two classes is 30 students in every day. Then there is a four, four different sessions. So it becomes 120 students in from one classroom. One, so for if there is 100,000 classrooms, so it is 12 million. And then I reduce 2 million uh, number for, for those which are, who, who are dropouts or who take a extra course. Because some people will take one course and they will say, oh, this is not of their liking. They can change. Okay, granted all that figures. Yes. Uh, my question is, maybe this is a program that is uh, suitable for a third world country like India. But we are in America. We are supposed to be educated and uh, skilled. Uh, so how could we uh, a, a program adapted by India uh, be brought wholesale here and implemented here? Very well. It's human beings are same everywhere. In India, so there are billionaires, and there are poor people. Same in America. There are billionaires, there are poor people. And there are, even in America, if you know it, People are in sixth, seventh grade, they cannot read properly. So don't think that all of America is ed educated. Mm -hmm. There are different layers of societies. So, and this program will be tailored for America. We had nothing to do with India in this program. Mm -hmm. Because basic is same. But only thing this will be tailored according to the American situation. Mm -hmm. What is the demand here? So those 1,000 different traits mm -hmm. which we are going to teach will be of, the, of keeping in view mm. what the society needs, the 21st century society. This is what will be taught here. Well, let's ask uh, Dr. Sati. He's a, uh, he was a former professor from Lincoln University, and he was also from India. Uh, he was also a political activist, a social activist. So Sati, now you heard Dr. Lunia's presentation, and uh, you know, he, he is very inspired Mm -hmm. to find a solution to this problem, mm -hmm. which we are living in recession. So what do you make out of all this? I think it's workable. I think, um, uh, you know, these, um, and particularly if you break up this uh, teaching from testing, then, uh, uh, you know, these uh, uh, students who will learn various trades can be tested by another agency and uh, if they have learnt it then only uh, the teachers will be paid uh, you know so and uh, i think uh, that this kind of uh, trade should be taught even in the high school from 7th or 8th grade in germany 
they have two tracks. Uh, one is vocational, one is academic. But uh, actually, I don't think at that early stage, it's good to break up uh, students on the basis no, of... No, but he's talking about yeah. uh, uh, providing skills yes. to all of Americans. Right. So, uh, which means 300 million people. Mm -hmm. uh, so do you think that can be done through this uh, program? I think so. I think so. This will also be implemented at high school level and uh, even f for college because people who learn like uh, uh, history or, or uh, English, they may not be skilled to teach, uh, uh, I mean, to go and earn something. I mean, uh, they may be teachers, but there may not be uh, that many position for teaching. So they should learn about uh, plumbing, they should learn on painting, they should learn So without going things. to school, they can do all these crafts, exactly. like you say, right. plumbing, uh, exactly. Uh, exactly. Ele electrician. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like some other, I lived in Georgia. Ah. Uh, see, there are a lot of uh, African Americans uh, True. who live in poverty, yeah. and they have no means to get out of that pro poverty. So do you think uh, this might help those, not only the blacks, but yeah, the, let even you know. the uh, white people exactly. uh, live in trailers, uh, right. didn't go beyond uh, high school. Uh, yeah. So all those people could uh, learn through this DVD. See, if they want to make a movie like uh, Steven Spielberg, so they can yeah. learn it from the DVD. That's what you're saying? Yes, what, yeah, that's what also. And also, I, as you talk about Steven, I thought that this program will also get the help of famous uh, film directors like Steven Spielberg because mm. he knows the human emotions because th a program DVDs has to be interesting and entertaining mm. so it will be entertaining mm. and most important I thought mm. that start of the class there should be introduction by President Obama that he says that okay this is the opportunity government is giving you mm. be on your own feet instead of giving mm. fish to eat somebody teach him how to fish it so if the, the with this uh, introduction by uh, by a president, I think uh, people will be encouraged to learn this and use this for to make make their living livelihood. Well, you are a writer and a magician, yes. so you had all the men talking about it, and women are practical. What do you think? Well, I think it's workable and it's very uh, good idea. Mm -hmm. to, uh, Which way it is a good idea? Because. Um, Everybody needs to get the, get the work, uh -huh. work done, and uh, they they have the skill inside, but they they need to be trained. So it would also help liberate some other women, get out of the homes yes. and working uh, in the workforce. Absolutely. Suppose they want to start something on their own and uh, in, take an initiative, right. but that requires a, you're a businessman, but that requires a capital, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's not enough to have a skill, but you need a capital. Not necessary. There are many steps, like to, to become a painter, if I, you don't need a capital, because you can just work as, as a painter. There are so many things, and then mm -hmm. if there is small money needed to, to buy some equipment, then the government, ca there are banks. Because if you want money from the government, you have to go to the uh, political power centers and convince them. You have to convince the Congress, Senate, and the President. You are perfectly right. First of all, I personally will work free of charge. I'm, I don't need any money from anybody. Number two, this, this government will fund this foundation. It will be a semi-government foundation. It will be owned by, gov by, by, the, by US government. And the funding is such a small money compared to our budget. Mm -hmm. And the money it will save to the government, I think it, it is in the interest of the government to start this program. And then most important, mm. the, to reduce the bureaucracy, that's why I said mm. semi-government foundation, because mm. we want to involve mm. people like Bill Gates and all other people, philanthropists. Mm. They can come and join hands, mm. because those are the experienced people. Let me uh, bring in Sati. Do you have any thoughts on this? Uh, some final thoughts? I, I think it, uh, uh, this program sh can be made part of schools and colleges. And uh, then uh, everybody should get involved. And as uh, Dr. Lunia said, after school program and uh, university classes are not used all the time. 
so their uh, uh, facility also can be used uh, at night as well so uh, this this can be done and it should be done you have any final thoughts uh, dr lonia well i request our dear president barack obama to please give it a consideration and see if there is any problem we'll try to solve because in india it took me so many years to convince ultimately they adopted but here i as you said america is a developed country so these are intelligent people i think they will come to understand that yes this program is one of the best program which which tells that this program is the only one which can think that we can get train 10 million americans every year it is such a vast at such a low cost so government can give it a try and start because this is the time to start well i think probably obama is listening to you yes. let's see if uh, you so what's your feeling any final thoughts you think it's a good program yeah it's a good program yes well uh, you see uh, education is a right it should be a, a universal right right i think every human being should have a right to education so i think probably we want to tackle poverty and all these things so we have to educate people um even though your program sounds like uh, a socialistic but it is a human right and it is coming from a businessman in a, in a way it is radical because uh, uh, education is privatized here and uh, sold and marketed through harvard yale columbia uh, and some other universities but it's not made uh, available to the public in general so your s uh, idea seems like go in the direction of reaching the public well if anyone wants any information on this one uh, they can go to have, my email yeah we, what's your email luniapc@gmail.com dot com and uh, he has uh, the uh, the complete book. book and this book is also on the <laughs> website i will give the website also <laughs> dadaguru.com so you have visions for india america and, and russia, russia and, as and well and 1000 copies were printed and they were distributed at the world <laughs> oriental congress in moscow oh, and good. all the big economists and everybody they but, but all these plan. three books yes. can be read and are available freely on internet on internet and exactly the people say the greatest discovery in mathematics was done by an indian now comes another indian dr lunia and see you in the next episode